Hi everyone and welcome to Monaco 101. Today we're going to be covering the bottom side of a Ringmaster wing and I'm going to show you what it takes to get a professional looking covering job on your airplane. So let's take a look at some of the tools that are required to do a very good covering job. First of all we're going to need a heat gun. And the heat gun has a nozzle attachment on it so that we can direct the airflow our tacking iron with a cotton foot on it, a trim iron, followed by our hot glove and hot mitten to protect our hands during the various stages of covering. So let's see what's required and let's have some fun. The first part is wing prep. So let's take a look and see what's required for the wing prep. The wing prep is a good sanding, be sure all the nicks and dings and everything are out of your balsa wood, followed by a good vacuuming and prepping the surface for covering with monocoat. This step is very important because you want to be sure that you don't have any dust particles that will prevent the adhesion of the material to your wing. Our next stop of the process is measurements. We want to take measurements and transfer those over to our monocoat so we get a proper chunk of material to cover our wing. First step I do is measure the wingspan and I allow anywhere from two and a half to three inches overlap. I then transfer that to a piece of paper. The next step is the wing root. Again, I take that measurement and I allow for roughly about an inch and a half overhang of material. This allows me material to grip while I make the adhesion to the material to the wing. Lastly, I go to the wing tip and the same thing applies. I allow about an inch and a half at the wing tip area. I take that measurement and transfer it to a piece of paper. The next step is cut the monocoat. Okay, so let's take a big deep breath and get started. This is probably the hardest part, but actually once you do it, it becomes very easy after a while. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and peel off the protective back from the adhesive side of the covering and place it on top of your wing. You want to center it up so that the overhang is equal on the leading edge and the trailing edge. And you can make uh, little minor adjustments before starting to tack it down. Go ahead and grab your tacking iron and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and seal down the center part of the monocoat at the wing root there and then we're going to take the tacking iron and do the leading edge and then after that we're also going to tack down the trailing edge and basically what that does is it holds the monocoat steady so that when you go to the far end of the wing tip it's not going to pull apart and you're going to be able to be sure that the majority of the covering material is taut and doesn't have a ton of wrinkles in it. And I do the same thing that I did at the wing root. 
I take the tacking iron, I put that on the center portion of the wing tip and tack down the leading edge there. Now that uh, rib number is R10 on the ringmaster and then I'm going to take the trailing edge and pull it taut. Now I'm working backwards than I normally work so it's a little awkward for me to uh, do this so I don't block the video. Now what you can't see under the wing is I have a bottle that is underneath the spar which helps support the wing so I don't break it.